in terms of reflection, um, I'd like to say that for me, this has been an absolutely eye-opening event, not only in the uh, amount of uh, technical resource that's available, but actually also uh, has been working with my clinical team in a context of education, which considering most of us have been together for nearly 20 years, we've never had the opportunity to do before. And uh, the, the thought showering process um, was uh, just extraordinary. And uh, it just shows that unless you take time out um, to have educational events like this, I would never have appreciated the, the depth of thought and the um, innovation of other members of my team. So for me, it's been an absolutely extraordinary event. I think the best thing for us about this last two days was the chance for three, well, four of us yesterday, but three of us today, to be able to sit down and have two days to think and talk about how we teach. And um, I think that was very valuable. We just don't give ourselves the time to do that sort of thing. Uh, it's been a very useful two days. And uh, as other people have said, we've been introduced to some new packages that we weren't aware of before. Uh, and I think one of the things that we've found is that they're, they're not actually that difficult to use, though it's very important to plan what you're going to do uh, and to think very carefully about what you're actually trying to achieve. When we were thinking about what we were taking away from this two-day event, um, we pulled our ideas and I think first and foremost we felt that planning was paramount there's an awful lot of thinking to do about what needs to happen when and how and what's the easiest way of doing this um, we need to be careful not to be lulled by the technology uh, you know all the different uh, sort of new things that you can do so don't arrange things around the new toys think about what you're wanting to do and how you're wanting the students to learn Yes, so finally, what will we take from this event and which elements will we apply? We've all found that we've got a lot more confidence using the technology and we've found technology that some of us didn't even know existed, which is just great. We're also learning how to embed the technology with inquiry-based learning, using all of the different techniques and obviously coming from a range of disciplines, um, learning how to use it for different departments. And yes, the joy of learning and designing and laughing together. Um, we've all had to um, work very closely as a team to get this done, um, which is excellent, again, across a range of disciplines. The most important things that we took away was firstly the role of triggers. We think they're fantastic. And you don't have to use them in a really, really long module setting. Just using them in the classroom to take the onus off the educator and onto the student is a really, really good thing. Um, tools for development, um, the poster we found really helpful. We got to about half past 11 this morning and realised we hadn't thought about how we would go about evaluating this at all. And that helped us pull it back and to, to consider those options. The icons were also really helpful. Um, we're not sure we would cut them out and place them in a row and all that kind of thing, but actually just having a map of them on the wall allows you to look at what you're thinking of, look at some of the other options and therefore think outside the box and maybe consider doing something you haven't done before. Um, and finally, the other thing really that changed were our attitudes in that you've got, it's about control. And if you're a very traditional stand at the front and talk, regurgitate person, you're very much in control. And it's letting go of some of that control and letting people take responsibility for their own learning. Fortunately, next week we've got a, a big teaching review of the department and we will certainly be pushing some of the things that we've been talking about here, there. So back at the ranch, um, if we're going to apply the learning, we thought it might be quite useful to think about this process when we come to doing module reviews so that we can identify opportunities for Dibble. Uh, but we also thought it might be useful if there were tutors who, who might be able to act in some sort of consultancy capacity in order to try and kick-start that process, because we, we still feel quite novice at, at, at this. Uh, and I think we need to be very clear about what the value added um, that this brings, both for students and staff, so that we're clear when the benefits outweigh the efforts involved. Uh, and then our final comment, one of the things we said was if you gave us uh, a couple of weeks, and again, as I think as the previous group said, if we could have a couple of weeks to camp in here uh, and just focus entirely on that, and we've produced that in just, uh, well, a day and a bit, uh, we could produce a phenomenal amount of material, which would be really good. So uh, if you happen to speak to any of our bosses, just uh, uh, give them that message to them.